At the beginning of March, my lovely greyhound Lola, she sadly passed away. Um, and then a couple of weeks after that, we were in lockdown. In some ways for me, at the end of her life was like an end of an era for home life, for my family, and then obviously the world changed so much and a lot turned upside down. It's been at once really uneventful and the most eventful part of my lifetime, so far anyway. I really love to film and capture the beauty in things in my life and while I miss doing so, I didn't know how to capture this part of life. There are so many bigger things to think about. While I have so much to be grateful for, I didn't think there was anything worth putting out from my life. My camera roll is basically mostly memes, screenshots and news updates. I've just been at home during this pandemic, like most people. Um, the only other entryways or doorways that I pass through are to like the doctor's surgery for like a minor checkup. You know, thankfully I'm a pretty introverted person, I'm naturally a homebody and work's been keeping me busier than ever. I'm really lucky I've been able to work from home in my main job. Outside of that there are endless things I want to watch, read, create. I'm the kind of person that's comforted by the fact that there's always things I can do. I, I, um, I don't like being bored. I'm an only child so I've kind of always busied myself with stuff anyway growing up and although we shouldn't like have to be productive in this time all the time I also remind myself like it's such a luxury to be able to consume entertainment and uh, just be at home I'm more acquainted with the nearby parks, woods and fields than ever I'm more familiar with the habits of cats in the neighbourhood and the hurried pace of foxes spotted on evening walks. I really appreciate the people in my life and the chances that I had to see a couple of them this summer at a distance in the park or through pixels on a screen when I video call people. I know it's been an isolating time for everyone in one way or another. While many said at the beginning that this is the great equaliser, in many ways it's highlighted the disparities between us more than ever. Uh, the systemic issues and injustices and the work that needs to be done to make us equal. We're going through the same crisis but we're experiencing it all differently. Perhaps I'm saying the obvious here at this point, I don't really have any profound realisations or anything new to add that hasn't been said a million times already. Doing the video this way and going through the footage, especially from like the end of last year to the beginning of this year was quite surreal. <laughs> it's almost like a time capsule from like another lifetime. It gives me hope that we can experience some of these wonderful things again one day. Obviously health and safety is the absolute most important thing. Um, yeah, I really hope that you're staying safe and healthy along with your loved ones and I'll see you again.